No, do you guys know Adobe Express actually has an app for the iPad? I'm not sure if it's available on the iPhone as well, but it's definitely available for the iPad, which I think is very convenient because it lets you pick out templates you want, do certain things you want, no problem. Book covers, flyers, Instagram posts, holiday stuff, such as if you want to advertise a new eggnog you made, or, you know, different things. Instagram stories, I'll be honest, I don't get on Instagrams are that much, but thumbnails are kind of my jam, as you know, when it comes to stuff. I'm just going to click on this one because I want to see how easy it is to change. This is a premium template, it looks like. Luckily, we do have premium at this time. So I'm able to edit it, but there are free templates out there if you don't have access to premium. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and edit this font, I guess. Yeah, when I edit this font more, just food more. And no, I'm not thinking about starting a new channel focused on reviewing food. Because I thought about that in the past. I've low-key tried that, and it has not really worked out. So when I double-click on that, we can choose... This is interesting. We can choose photos from the photo library from our library. And yeah, we could choose photos from quite a bit. I was going to choose the photo from our library. Then I remembered I don't have that many. So we'll use some Adobe stock photos. You know, photos that they suggest themselves. And since this is a thumbnail about food, let's go ahead into the search section so we can search for photos with food in them. Okay, there we go. Hmm. I'll be honest, this is kind of making me hungry. Let me know in the comment section below if any of this is making you hungry. I think I go with this. And this is actually a free image as well. So let's see, we would click add and it adds it. We can actually move this around as we want. That actually, <laughs> I do like it just the way it is right now. And of course, if we want to, it's, I I think we can actually change the colors if we want. We can remove the background. We can actually do quite a bit here. Like here are the colors, right? Change the food color to that. I'd hit cancel though because I like it the way it is. And honestly, if this was an actual thumbnail, I'd probably click on it. How about you? And saving it, it's super simple. You would literally just click this. Um, let's see, images, download, and then since it's on your iPad, it automatically saves to the camera roll. So that's actually very convenient on this bit. Now, if we want to do something else, we can go back. Actually, these are all the projects that 
I've worked on at one point or another. So it is kind of fun that it has your projects there. So you can just, you know, access them on the desktop version or the iPad version. But let's say YouTube things aren't really your jam. You're not the biggest fan of YouTube thumbnails. We can go with Facebook posts, okay? People like Facebook posts or cards, business cards. People love a good business card. So what we will do is we'll choose this. Again, I'm choosing a premium one, but you don't have to choose the premium one. And all this is replaceable. Like we just press I technically, then hit add. If we want to change the font, we can actually change the font just right here. Say we want something more robust. We can change that. Or we can, if you have the premium version, you can add your own fonts to this as well. So that's actually pretty convenient. And you know, since we changed the font, maybe we want it a little bit bigger now so it pops out a little bit more. And the background. Say we want a different color for the background. We want it to be, you know, closer to our color brand. So, you know, we go with orange, although maybe we don't want, eh, yeah, this will work perfectly fine for that. And then we have that color, of course, then that means We'd have to change this a bit more because we don't want it to, you know, not blend in too much with the background. So, you know, the, the style, the, the adjustment, the, the size, opacity, color, recommendations. So, you can have the app do uh, any recommendations for you. And it recommended these different things. Honestly, this recommendation doesn't look too bad. So, yeah, this recommendation, definitely want to build upon it. That's actually pretty good. I like that it picked the recommendation. And as you thought, we can zoom in, zoom out, everything just fine. We decide we want to move this over a little bit more. We can do that as well. We can move it wherever. It gives us that, telling us that that's there, but we can just ignore it. Move it wherever. And I'll be honest, it's a very convenient. It's a very convenient app, okay? Now, like I said, I know for sure it's on the iPad. I'm on the iPad right now. I don't know if it's on the iPhone as well. Feel free to let me know, comment section below. And then, you know, we could change all of this as well. Not only can we change it to what it recommends, we can actually change what we want it to say as well. So, yeah. And there we go. With that, we could have just created a business card or a business card in the works of it because we don't have, and then we don't have, we didn't change the email or anything. So if someone wanted to contact us, they would literally just not be able to. But yeah, that is that. And I think this is a good showing of the demo of the app. And yeah, I think with that said, I'm going to end the video here. Let me know in the comment section below if there's an app you're interested in 
and checking out Adobe Express. Used to be Adobe Sparks, in case you were wondering. Um, and yeah, with that said, I will catch you guys in the future. Later. Mm -hmm.